What's happening? It's Shane here. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the highest paying master's degrees. These are going to be degrees that take around six years or so. Usually that's how long it takes to get a master's and they tend to be extremely high paying. And this is going to be the 2022 version. I haven't really done this one before, um, so I'm really going to get in depth on each one. So from a financial perspective, which is what I'm going to be talking about in this video, master's degrees do tend to be a relatively good choice. Sometimes they can even be better than bachelor's degrees. And this is in terms of the the amount of time it takes you to get a master's. It's usually going to be about six years versus four years for a bachelor's. And then on top of that, the amount of debt you're going to incur. So we're going to be getting into that and whether or not some of these degrees are worth it from a financial perspective right after you gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So we're going to start with the least profitable one and work our way up to the most profitable one, but all of them are relatively good. And the first one on the list is going to be a math related master's degree. So last year, about 10,000 people graduated with a master's in mathematics and statistics degree. And this is, of course, according to NCES, or the National Center of Education Statistics. And according to Glassdoor.com, the average mathematician makes around $90,000 a year. Now, there are certain career paths other than mathematician that are even more profitable. Uh, for instance, if you got your master's in statistics, uh, data scientist is one career path you could go down where you would make quite a bit more than $90,000 a year. But with that being being said, this is still a very high paying option at 90,000 a year if you just get a mathematics degree. Next one on the list, number six is going to be a science related master's degree. So in this particular case, we're gonna be talking about a biology degree, a master's in biology, which last year about 3,500 people received. And one career path you might go down is becoming a research scientist, which according to Glassdoor, they make about $97,000 a year. Now it might be a little bit difficult to become a research scientist with only a master's level degree. Many positions might want you to have a PhD. So. On average, it's probably a little bit less than 97,000. And also, it's not the easiest thing in the world to land one of these positions. But with that being said, if you're up for the challenge, if you're okay with getting a master's at least and likely a PhD, this can be a very high paying option. Next one on the list, number five is going to be a professional degree, which is becoming a physician associate. About 8,500 people did graduate with this degree last year. This is actually one of my favorite careers and one of my favorite degrees out of all the different options out there. And according to Glassdoor, they make about $101,000 a year. As a physician assistant, you can prescribe, you can diagnose, you can treat, you can do a lot of the same things that a doctor would do. Uh, you do have to work under a doctor. However, you don't have to do the ridiculous amount of schooling that a doctor has to do and then a residency on top of that. So if you're somebody who does want to care for patients but you don't want to have to go through that absolutely ridiculous process, um, then you know this can be a very good option for you. Number four on the list is going to be a computer scientist at the master's level. So somebody who gets a computer science degree and they get a master's in it. Last year, about 12,000 people graduated with a master's in computer science. And the average computer scientist in the United States makes about $106,000 a year, but it would likely be quite a bit more than that with a master's. So that's all computer scientists, whether you got a bachelor's, whether you're self-taught or whether you have a doctorate. So chances are, if you got a master's, you would be on the upper end of that. So yeah, computer science, one of the most valuable skills that you can learn. I've talked about this quite a bit on the channel, whether it's at a master's level or whether you're self-taught, still one of the most valuable skills. And then you'll probably end up working in the technology industry, which is likely the best industry that you can work in. Next one on the list is going to be a college professor. So this would be a college professor who has a master's. So with just a master's, you will probably only be able to work as a college professor at a community college. And it might even be hard for you to do that. A lot of them are requiring PhDs now as well. So your options are going to be somewhat limited. Glassdoor has college professors making $114,000 a year, and you'd be making on the lower side. So because of the fact that you have a master's and most most college professors have a PhD, you would be on the lower side. But yeah, college professors make really good money, not the easiest thing in the world to 
to become a college professor, lots of competition, especially depending on which degree you graduate with. Ironically, the degrees where you have the best chance of becoming a college professor are also the degrees where it's very easy for you to get a job. Because if it's hard to get a job, then many people will try to become a college professor. And if it's easy to get a job, there's not nearly as much competition. Number two on the list is going to be a master's degree in data science. And there's several different ways that you can get there. One of the newest and hottest careers out there. Uh, one way that you would become a data scientist would be getting a master's in statistics. And depending on the way you look at data scientists, you can either think of them as a statistician who knows how to program, or you can think of them as a programmer who really knows their stuff when it comes to statistics. But either way, last year, 3,100 people graduated with a master's in statistics. And according to Glassdoor, the average data scientist makes about $117,000 a year. Number one on the list is going to be a nurse practitioner. And there's several different ways that you can do this one as well. Last year, about 28,000 people total graduated with one of these degrees. But yeah, nurse practitioners make about $121,000 on average. Super good career, uh, kind of similar to PA. You can prescribe, you can diagnose, you can treat. You don't have to be under the supervision of a doctor. You are somewhat limited in what you can prescribe. But yeah, really good money. Also a ton of demand, so chances are it's gonna be good for many years into the future. Hope you enjoyed this one and check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.